which you guys if you've got plex you might want to change these plex settings right now these are privacy concerns uh plex have changed a lot of their uh way that they handle your data so it's important that you make these changes so open up your plex app here and what you're going to want to do is first we're going to go up to the account here and open up the account itself because we need to make changes on the profile so up the very top click on your account and what you want to do here is click on view profile once you click on your view profile here you'll be on this window right here from here you want to click on edit profile once you click on edit profile you will see all of your information in this window here what you want to do is come all the way down to the bottom of the page right here where it says account visibility and activity sharing so click on the edit button on the right hand side and you can see your watch history your watch list your ratings your friends and also your account visibility i've got these all set to private now by default they're not set to private and this means that all of the people that you have attached to your accounts will be able to see what you've been watching so if you've been watching uh, maybe adult content or something like that it will show up and they will be able to see all of the stuff you've been watching on your account so you definitely want to set all this to private and plus set the account visibility to friends only once that's done you want to move over to the next section which is to do with your uh, emails and stuff like that so i'm just going to remove all of this stuff here and opt out of this stuff and you need to go to this location here on the link i'll show you it right here so you can see plex.tv forward slash about privacy and you can see it will take you to this legal page here this is for your preferences for your account i know it looks like a web page but this is actually your config uh, file for your actual plex what you want to do is drill all the way down here and if you can see here in the blue area we have this new feature where it says send playback data to plex this is going to send back all of the data that helps them run and improve their services but it's also quite concerning about some of the other stuff that is being sent back to plex so you may want to remove that tick it's a new thing that plex are doing now and you can see here friend data library data service data all of this information will be sent back and you don't want to be sending stuff back like that and these are all are new features that uh, plex have started to add in which is infuriated a lot of people about privacy concerns and again you can read all this article yourself but basically you definitely want to turn that feature and opt out of that feature right there so next up we're in the account still here and what we want to do here is we definitely want to uh, make some more changes there's one more change that i want to make here which is to do with your sync this is syncing all of your information for your watch state now some people like to leave this on but this is also a, a concern for privacy as well so you may want to turn this off and you can see here it says yes start syncing right now i don't have this turned on because all of the information that you've been watching and all of the stuff you've been watching will be sent back to all of the people in your friends list so you can see it's set to inactive so that's definitely what you want to do also you can see i've got this all set now that's all done that is probably one of the biggest uh, privacy concerns right there next you're going to need to configure your email preferences right here and you can see under the plex uh, app again you can see there's some marketing emails discovery in emails here and also some other stuff here and you can see it's been automatically by default subscribed to all of these and these are newsletters and other things like that so i'm going to unsubscribe from all of this stuff and update my preferences and this will opt me out for all of this stuff you can see here email me when i receive a friend request if you want to get jump into this sort of stuff by all means you can do i'm not interested in any of this sort of stuff on here i don't really share my plex with anyone or uh, any any other outsider of my network so i'm not too concerned about this but if you're one of those people that have quite a few people connected to it then definitely might want to uh, prune some of those settings right there so other than that you can see we have online media uh, uh, sources here come down here and you can see it says display activity from my friends or detail pages and you can click on the edit here you can see this is enabled 
and I'm just going to disable this as well and then save these settings. And that's pretty much it. You should have now opted out of all of the privacy concerns that you may have had with Plex. Now, this never used to be a thing back in the day. Uh, Plex never used to have these features in place, but they've started to push this onto people and some people are not happy with the way it's going. So basically you can uh, turn this off like I'm showing you right here and you should have no problems. No one should be seeing what you're viewing. If you've got other people on your Plex server, no one should be seeing what you're viewing on your Plex at any one time. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I'll catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. Bye for now. <music>